one, it's the unlikely prepper, so I am going to show you the basics of creating your lye water. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put on my gloves. Make sure I put my glasses on. I'm going to do this even before I'm handling the bottle of lye. Put the glasses on. And I am making sure that I have my distilled water on hand, that I have my lye, the container that I plan on using, the weight scale for it, the spoon that I'm going to be stirring it with. I'm going to be taking the temperature of it as I go so I can show you how quickly it heats up. And you should always have uh, some rubbing alcohol on hand to make sure that you're sterilizing the area before you start. And I'll grab it right now. You should probably also go ahead and keep this here is actually just a bottle of vinegar. Vinegar will neutralize lye in case of a spill. Always keep that on hand. And then it's always handy to have the recipe that you plan on making because it'll have all the amounts on there. So, to start, I will go ahead and put my container on my scale. This is a battery-powered one, so as long as you have batteries, you should be all set. I'm going to go ahead and switch it over to grams, because grams is more accurate. And there we go. Make sure that you tear out the amount of the container so that you're getting the most accurate you can. Typically, I recommend that your distilled water be refrigerated. You want it to be as cold as possible because the lye is going to go ahead and heat that up. But I didn't have time or the space in the fridge to do it. This here is nothing fancy. It's the Walmart brand. doesn't have to be anything awesome. And this recipe is going to call for 344 grams of water. Which I suspect I will need the second container of. over, so I'm going to go ahead and pour that back into the container. You want it to be as accurate as possible at all times. Okay. Then, like I said in previous videos, lie into water, never water into lie. Otherwise, you'll end up with a volcano effect. This brand here is from Essential Depot. I recommend them. This is actually food-grade lye. Lye is used in like uh, pretzel making and um, oriental noodles and things like that. They sell all of them in two-pound amounts, which actually is better that way. It's going to be fresher. It's going to be better quality. Um, there's less oxygen getting to it. Uh, I usually order 10 or so pounds at a time. They come in the two, bottle, two pound bottles. So you'll go ahead and open this up. And this is why you already have the gloves on because as you can see it's getting a little of that caustic soda around it. And Make sure that you wipe down your table after as soon as you get done. So then you're going to go ahead and tear out. You know that you have the exact amount of water needed. Go ahead and set it back to zero, and this recipe is calling for 128 grams of lye. So I am going to lightly start shaking it, and once I get probably about two-thirds of that lye in there, I'm going to start backing away, because I know that I'm going to start to smell the fumes of this. So I'm at about 100 grams. I'm at one, about 120. Okay, it's 128. Immediately put the top right back on there. now, 
comes from the mixing process. I, keeping my hand at the end of this, and as you can see, I have put lye only on this spoon. And I am now going to start stirring it. It is going to, you'll, you might see some fumes in there. It is going to start to heat up very quickly. Right now it is at 140 degrees. You can probably see the steam coming off of it in the video. You might even hear me cough a little bit. Okay, so it's heating up very quickly. And you're going to keep stirring this until the water is absolutely clear. Okay, it's at 180. Just keep going. I would have turned my fan on for the video, but you probably would have been able to hear me very well. Okay, we're at 190. And I wish that I could give you a better description of how this is, but my eyes are actually a little bit watery right now. And breathing is kind of hard. So we're still at about, probably at about uh, 180. And you are not going to want to soak with this until it gets back down to uh, the room temperature. So plan to make this ahead of the time that you want to soak. It is perfectly fine to go ahead and make this the night before that you plan to soak the next day. Once you make this up, it's safe. I actually, sometimes I go ahead and make a week's worth of it, and then go ahead and put the caps on them and put them aside. Make sure that nobody's able to touch them, but I go ahead and I save them so I have a week's worth of, of uh, soaping lye put aside. So, we're at 180 still, and it is starting to clear up. And you are going to keep going until there's absolutely nothing behind in there. Any type of uh, soap granules, I mean uh, the, the lye bits and pieces, anything left behind could potentially hurt the skin. So make sure that you're looking around for any granules when you get done to make sure that they all mixed in. Just keep going and then once you're done with this you'll go ahead and put it aside. Try to put a cover on it, let it cool down. I know it seems dumb to put a cover on it if you're trying to let it cool, but being that this is toxic, you don't want animals to be able to get near it. You don't want any debris to get into it. You certainly don't want somebody to pick it up and try drinking it. I know there's a lot of families out there that have little ones that get curious, so put this in a high spot away from where they can get at it. So this is at about 160 degrees right now. And I will wait until this gets down into the 70s and 80s before I go to do anything with it. So this is essentially it. Just make sure that you're keeping your hand away from it, putting a fan on it, not breathing it in. You're being safe about it. And then when you get done, this, this spoon needs to go immediately in the sink. It needs to be washed off. It needs to be dried. Do not let this sit around. It'll drip down on things and probably make a huge mess. Okay, so that is everything for creating the lye water. We'll go ahead and put that aside and put a cover on it. I'll put this one in a sink. And that will be it for now. And you'll still see it steaming up. Like I said, it's still 160 degrees in there, but at least it's not going to hurt anybody like this. Alright, so that is how you mix your lye water. It's the unlikely prepper out.